today i'd like to talk about maximum product survey problem i'd like to solve this problem using two pointer approach so let's get started this problem says that given an integer array nums find a contiguous non-empty survey within the array that has the largest product and return the product so here we can see we've got an array we are to find out the largest the sub array which has the maximum product and by sub array we mean it would be contiguous so in this case the sub array would be this one two and three because two and three gives us a multiplication of a product of six in the second case it would be zero because if we want to find out contiguous thing multiply anything will be zero would give us zero so now let's find out the solution approach let's talk about what kind of numbers will are there there may be zero in the array and we know if you multiply anything with zero the result will be zero so we have to take care of this thing if the zero is within our array then we have to tackle this there may be negative negative integers in the array this is quite possible and there is a thing regarding this multiplication with negative integers if we were to find out the sum in that case we must avoid negative integers because adding a negative integer will would give us less value but what about multiplication if we multiply a negative number with a positive number the absolute value will be greater but the sign will change and the change of sign will depend on what the number of negative integers whether it is odd or even if the number of negative integer in an array is even then we it the product will be positive but it is if it is odd then the product will be negative so we need to think about this also let's see some example in the first example see there is zero in the middle so it is guaranteed that we cannot get the maximum product with full array so we have to divide the array into two parts maybe and calculate the products accordingly or we need to tackle this zero in the second case let's see we had there is no zero and we have even number of negative num integers so if we simply multiply all the values we get the maximum sub array here but in case of the third one have a look at this here we have odd number of negative integers so if we multiply all the values definitely we are not gonna get the maximum value here because the final product would be negative so what we have to do we have to simply make the number of negative integers even how can we do that we can achieve that by either taking this first four numbers or this last four numbers why because if we want to remove this one minus one it may happen that we are not getting the maximum product because this is dividing the array into smaller chunks what we do we simply find out the multiplication of the first n minus one integers and also find out the last n minus one integers and compare so combining all these conditions what do we have we have that we can solve it using two pointers how each pointer will be at the two end of the array and gradually we try to find out the product and every time we find out the product we compare them let's see the algorithm we name it max of array multiply algorithm here we have an input array here we initialize three variables one is left that means the left pointer another is right the right pointer and another is the answer that we return we are guaranteed that the array will have at least one element so at first the answer would be the first element of the array now we start iterating over the array and what do we do we are updating the left pointer by multiplying the leftmost element of the array at the very beginning it will be zero and it will end with the last element of the array similarly we are multiplying the right pointer with the rightmost or endmost element of the array have a look at this index if i is zero then this one would be the last element if i is one this one would be the just before the last element thus we multiply and update both left and right pointers then what do we do we simply compare all this and put the maximum as answer so that we are guaranteed to have the maximum answer or maximum value now we are left with a single condition we need to tackle the zero there we may have zero in between the elements of the array so what do we do so we check it like this if any certain point the left or right pointers become zero 
we make it one so that we can again keep continuing our multiplication and at last we return the answer by seeing the algorithm we come to we know that this algorithm will have a runtime of o of n and as we haven't used any data structure any extra data structure its space complexity would be constant that means o of 1 let's apply this algorithm in this array initially the value of left and right will be 1 and the answer will be the very first element of the array that means 2 now we start iterating over the array the first index that means here left becomes 1 into 2 that means 2 what about right right will be multiplied by this very element that means 1 into 4 that is 4 now we compare between these three so 4 is the maximum that's why answer become 4 and none of the left or right is 0 so we need not to visit this condition then i is here value of left would be 2 into 3 that means 6 value of right will be minus 2 into 4 that means minus 8 and the maximum between these three 4 6 and minus 8 is 6 then i will be here so left will be 0 and same goes for right maximum is 6 now here i and left and right has been 0 so we make them 1 now i will be here we get left as minus 2 j will be here we get right as 3 the maximum among these 3 is 6 now i will be here the value of left becomes minus 8 and the value of j becomes 3 in 2 2 means 6 the maximum among these 3 is 6 so we have finished iterating over the array and the maximum is 6 if we have a closer look at this array this two this sub array gives us 6 which is the maximum let's implement this problem with c++ in lit code this is the problem maximum product sub array and we have implemented the solution using our algorithm let's run it we got accepted and our runtime is only 3 millisecond which is faster than almost 99% of other sub other submission and memory usage is almost less than 72% of other C++ submission I hope you guys have understood this solution of this problem that's all for today have a nice day and happy coding